to a new week and welcome back to your favorite girl. That's me, by the way. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and this vlog is where I document my weight loss journey, showing you guys the ups and downs, the ins and outs of what it's like for me on my personal weight loss journey to try to lose weight. Overall, this is a fitness journey. This is not something that is just gonna stop with me trying to lose weight. This is gonna carry on to being a fitness journey because it is a lifestyle and this is something that I want to maintain. But before we get into this week's vlog, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I am doing and comment down below. Say hi, I say hi back. And without any further ado, let's get into this week's vlog. So it's been a minute and I haven't really been vlogging for like the past two months. Like I think I vlogged the first week of March and then just dropped off. I had a lot of things kind of change, especially at work. And I needed to focus on a lot of new things that happened at work. And I also had a few life changes. Um, I have... I think I'm gonna do a life update video because there is another change that I'm still waiting confirmation on. And as soon as like I have the green light, then I can share like what's been going on like fully. So there'll be like a little video to explain everything. I'm really excited. But essentially during these like two months that I haven't really been vlogging, I realized that I was at a plateau. I was eating healthier too, and I'm still eating healthier. And yeah, I've just been in a plateau. So I've been maintaining essentially like the 225 to 229 range, like I've just been maintaining. So I don't really know how much I weigh right now. The last time I weighed myself was Saturday and I weighed 226. But then obviously like I had my my cheat day on Saturday and I ate like all the foods that I wanted to eat and I went up to 228, I believe. I think I think like just gaining a couple pounds from like, you know, cheat day and then obviously yesterday on Sunday. Also I just woke up so my voice sounds like a little weird. But yesterday, pretty healthy, but at the same time, like, I don't know how much I weigh from yesterday. So, I am going to go to the gym now, because it is 6.40, and I have a meeting this morning at 8 o'clock. So, I'll only really have, like, an hour to work out, essentially. And yes, you did hear me right, I am going to a gym. I'm no longer working out in the living room of my apartment, which is really exciting. My apartment's gym opened up. It's still like at limited capacity and stuff like that, I think. Or you have to maintain six feet apart, which is totally fine. But the time that I go, which is in the morning before work, no one, literally no one is in the gym. So I am in there by myself. And so I'm going to take you guys along with me to show you everything that I do in the gym today. And we're going to get back into showing you like what I eat in a week essentially and the workouts that I'm doing to try to lose my weight on my personal weight loss journey. So yeah. Yeah. 
I've been on my way up, now it's really far down I don't think I'll feel it when I hit the ground So I bought this blender and it's normally like a hundred dollars to get this brand and this blender but it was literally $70 at Costco, $69.99. And when I was at Costco, I grabbed the box, but I was like, wait, let me check other stores sites just to be sure like the prices that I'm getting the best deal. And let me tell you, I got the best deal because everywhere else, the cheapest that this blender was going for was $80 at one place and then a hundred dollars everywhere else so i was just like this is amazing so i got the ninja blender i have been i prefer blenders like this i don't like those like cup ones those are not my favorite because i i find that you always get some sort of got a message from someone i don't know but I, anytime that I use those blenders where they're the cup ones, I always end up like spilling it into like the motor part of the blender and it's just a whole entire faff. So I honestly just prefer blenders that look like this. This is just my preferred way of using a blender. So it is the 1000 watt motor base. 72 ounce full-size pitcher with stacked blade assembly 72 ounce full-size pitcher with stacked blade assembly and lid and 50 recipe cookbook oh it has a 64 ounce max liquid capacity so i am so excited i have been making like ice cream and this is gonna be so much faster and less of a hassle to make ice cream in this um i'll show you guys how i make it because i'll probably have ice cream today i always have ice cream on a cold day it's raining outside it's gray it's like perfect cozy weather but anyways i'm gonna get started making my breakfast i'm back on eating oatmeal because i've just missed it it's just easy i feel a lot fuller when i have it and i find that i don't snack as much when i have oatmeal so i'll show you guys that when that's done but i have a lot of meetings today um well not a ton a ton of meetings but i have quite a few meetings this morning like it's it's a pretty um heavy meeting morning situation going on so i'll show you guys what my food is looking like and yeah, I'm excited to be vlogging. It feels a little bit weird. Like my arm feels tired, even though this camera is not that heavy. But I'm just like not used to documenting anymore. The the lighting looks it was weird for a second, I feel like. There we go. There we go. Um, I also have this like pimple patch thing. Um, because I have a pimple. But I was like, I still like want to wear makeup because I'm trying to wear makeup every day, like at least Monday through Friday while I'm working as much as I can. Because I just I bought too many concealers that were just the wrong shade. And so I'm like mixing them all to like make it work. But I'm just at the point where I'm just like, I don't I don't want to have to have like a ton of makeup. I really want to just size down and have concealer that literally matches my skin tone exactly and then just have like blush highlight bronze eyebrow eyeliner and mascara like that's literally all i want because that's all i wear i don't wear eyeshadow that much or anything like that so and if i do it's like for a video or something like that like i like playing with makeup but just having that amount is just it stresses me out but also like knowing that it's not the right shade and i've been going outside in the sun more when it's been nice i've been sitting out on our balcony and it's just been really nice to just catch some rays but anyways i have a meeting in like 30 minutes so 
I'm gonna get going to like make my breakfast so I can not eat during this meeting and I will show you guys that and we will we will talk later okay lunchtime and I haven't shown you guys my face I did my makeup it doesn't look that great <laughs> also I have a new friend guys I have a squish <laughs> and he is so soft so soft like it was $20 at Costco so incredibly soft. So I have the kid. I'm just so happy. I like nearly cried in Costco when I saw it. So yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about that. Um, anyways, I forgot to prep my salmon, my fish, and I don't, I realize I don't have any I don't have any lemon so and I really like my fish to be salmon specifically because I not specifically specifically because I really like lemony salmon it is my personal preference so I need lemon I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need at the grocery store I'm gonna say no right now because today's Tuesday tomorrow's Wednesday I still have some chicken that I can thaw for Thursday I also have been craving ramen um, since last night so I'm probably going to 
have some ramen this weekend as part of my cheat meal. And I think I also might try to bake something, but I honestly don't know what I'm gonna bake. So maybe what I will do is look at the Black Girl Bakes recipe book that I got and see if there's anything that I can make from there. Cause I'm, I don't like buying just one thing. Although I have done that in the past, especially if I just need a really quick snack, I'll just buy one thing, but I want to make my trip worthwhile. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll show you guys Hmm. Decisions. Man, I feel like this is like the hardest thing about being an adult. You have to make all these decisions and think about the future a lot. I mean, you do as a as a child, but like as an adult, financially you have to think about like if that's the best thing. Like once you start making your own money or you have your own money, you have to start thinking about that and you don't necessarily have to be an adult like you can be a minor and still like have money and financial things that you have to think about for the future so I just think like financially is it smart to just go all the way here for just one thing when I could possibly see if there's other things that I could buy to make it financially worth it yeah I don't know. That's probably just a really random thought, but I think about that sometimes when I'm going to the grocery store. But also, no, I shouldn't buy ice cream. I should save it for the end of the week. Van Leeuwen ice cream is just so good, though. It's so good. Okay. I'm going to put on sweats because I'm wearing shorts right now, and it is 50 degrees out, but... My shorts right now are too short. They're short shorts that I wear inside the house because wearing real clothes at home, I'm just, I haven't gotten used to yet. The idea, like I tried for a while, but then I think I'm just at a point where I just don't really like anything in my closet that much and I wanna go shopping, but I need to save up for when I go shopping. And I think I'm gonna do hauls going forward of where I shop at, but I am trying to be ethical and sustainable with my purchases. So H&M um, definitely has like a conscious line that I definitely wanna shop from. Uniqlo is pretty sustainable um, and becoming more sustainable with a lot of their practices for clothing. Everlane is another one that I really, really like and I bought from them in the past um, and they're an ethical, sustainable, brand and organic basics and stuff like that there is an ethical sustainable underwear brand that i have been buying a lot from recently and by a lot i mean like two times because <laughs> i don't need that much underwear <laughs> but i mean having more i guess doesn't hurt they're a brand called parade i actually have a discount code um it's not an affiliate so i don't i don't think i make a commission from it no i don't <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't, but it's a code that you can use to um, get some money off. So I'll leave it down in the description box below if you're interested in, but their, their underwear is just really comfortable. They have a lot of different colors. You can go for the same colors. You can get a variety pack. They have a lot of different styles too, and their sizing is very inclusive, which I really, really appreciate. And they show just real bodies on their website, which is just what I love to see. I love being able to see real people wearing real clothes because it's just like, I'm a real person. I don't need to see this stereotypical model size person wearing something when it's not gonna give me an accurate depiction of what I could look like because I am plus size. Like I wear 14, a size 14, I think. Um, and yeah, it's nice being able to see someone who is the same size or near the same size as me, what they look like in something to give me a better picture of what I'm going to look like in it. So instead of having someone who has been like this, um, you know, standard size in the industry for the longest time, like show real bodies and parade shows real bodies. And I really 
um just love everything that they're doing as a company like their whole ethos like everything it's just it totally aligns with who i am and and what i want so yeah i'll definitely leave a code down below to get yourself some money off in case you are interested um i also have another code for anna louisa they're a sustainable and ethical jewelry brand and they're very affordable too and you can get 12 percent off with my anna louisa code as well and i've been wearing their jewelry um they have some rings that i bought from them and i think i have a jewelry box as well that i really really like like a traveling case jewelry box and it's just perfect like it's small compact easy and it has like your little earring hooks and places where you can put bracelets necklaces and then also places where you can put your rings too so it's just really nice the color is beautiful and yeah you can get 12 percent off at anna luisa and i will leave both of those discount codes in the bottom for you guys they are ethical and sustainable brands because that is what i'm trying to do I'm trying to be better about that and yeah i am gonna stop rambling because i need lemon and I need to figure out what I'm baking for the weekend.
So I realized that when I was trying to record initially, the first part of my ab routine, my ab workout, I didn't press record. I just turned on the camera and I looked up and realized that the camera had shut off. And when I looked back, I was like, oh, it's already done. So I only was able to show you guys me doing the plank. And that was about it. So unfortunately, I, I mean, I did my crunches and I did my like toe touch crunches um, that you guys have been seeing me do. So yeah, apologies. I just forgot to hit the record button when I initially set up my camera. So there's, there's that, but I'm gonna get ready now. I just had a really quick meeting um, this morning, like a 15 minute meeting and yeah, I'm pretty free. In terms of meetings today, I don't have a lot scheduled. I might have to put a couple things on the schedule today. Um, but my day is pretty, pretty open, which is really nice. So I'm going to get ready now and make my breakfast this morning. As you guys saw last night, I did get a little bit hungry. I think I was really full from having the sweet potato fries immediately with the um, lunch that I had, like making that the sweet potato fries as part of my lunch, I was just really, really full. And so I didn't feel like having like my ice cream several hours later. But as I was going to bed and I was like editing and stuff, I didn't really, I wasn't really craving any sweet items. I was wanting a little bit more savory, more salty, you know? So I got myself some popcorn and gave myself like a little seaweed. Uh, dried seaweed pack from Trader Joe's. So I popped some kernels, made some popcorn, added salt. I didn't put any honey with it at all. It was literally just salt, sea salt granules, and that was it. So that was all of my snacks for last night and as my little treat. But yeah, I am going to get ready now for the day because it is like 8.15 right now. So I'm gonna get started. Tomorrow, I'm not gonna be working out because I, at least tomorrow morning, I don't know if I will decide to work out later in the evening, but we shall see. But essentially, tomorrow morning, I have a lot of meetings, like starting really, really early, starting at like six o'clock in the morning. I have a conference call at 6, 6 a.m. It's insane, but people are on different time zones, so you gotta, you gotta coordinate, and I wake up that early anyway, kind of. I wake up around like 6.30, 6.25. Um, sometimes I wake up around 6. But yeah, I'm up around that time anyway, so it like doesn't bother me, and my camera doesn't necessarily need to be on. So yeah. I'm, I have a I have an early, early start tomorrow, so I'm not going to be working out because that is just too exhausting. And then I have meetings galore the rest of the day. It is, it is so insane. Like, it is crazy. But anyways, I will chat to you guys in a moment. So I forgot to show it, but when I first made it, I made some ice cream. I made it again. It is a lot thicker. It is harder to show because having this camera focus on a smaller thing while my face is in frame, it just doesn't want to focus. But essentially, I just put in less liquid. So I think I am going to create a video soon on how I make this uh, ice cream. And you only need two ingredients, and then the rest of it is just flavors. like how you want it to taste and cater it to however you want it to taste for yourself. And for me right now, it is chocolate, peanut butter, and coffee mixed together. And it is so good. Mm. Mm. It is the best. It's just so good. And today's like been a lot warmer, which is nice. So got that sweet tooth back. But yeah. Um, I think I already told you guys like I'm not going to be working out tomorrow because tomorrow is such a busy day and but I think I will stretch in the morning so I will try to remember to show that if I remember to stretch 
I'll probably put a reminder on my phone so that I remember to stretch tomorrow morning. But I will try my best to work out on Friday and I may work out on Saturday morning. It just depends. But I want to at least get into the gym like four times um, in a week. That's kind of like my goal. And I've been meeting that goal um, for the past couple months. So that's been going well of working out at least um, consistently for four times a week. Minus um, there's been a few weeks here and there where I just like I've been too busy where I couldn't. Where I couldn't go into the gym that often or even at all. But that rarely happens, but when I'm able to, my goal is four times a week. That is what I want to do. I don't really have a lot going on the rest of the day. I might go to Ikea. I might not. They have these really nice candles that I really want to get a hold of. So we shall see. So a couple meetings got moved around, but I just wanted to come in and say that I was challenged at work because I'm on a bunch of new projects and so I have to rely on my emails a lot more. My work email was atrocious for a work email. So I had about 3,000 unread emails taking some time for that to really sit in with you guys. But yeah, I had about 3,000 unread emails and my manager was just like, you need to bulk delete that and just start fresh <laughs> because you don't need that type of clutter. So it, 
it will be a lot easier for you going forward to be able to navigate through your email and who's contacting you for what on different projects that you're starting to like project manage. And so because I cleared out my work email, like it's literally starts at zero each day and then I start getting, you know, emails throughout the day. But it really inspired me to clean out my personal email. Now, the number that I'm going to say is atrocious because literally last year, all of 2020 and part of 2019, I just stopped with the emails. And a lot of these emails are like promotion emails. So like subscriptions that I no longer need to be subscribed to. But I didn't like unsubscribe from everything because I was really just focused on bulk deleting things that just I don't need. The amount of emails that I had was a little over 40,000. You heard that right. Over 40,000 emails. And majority of them were promotions. They weren't even like emails that really needed my attention because when I would get those emails in, I would filter them out. And also like everything is, you know, automatic payment. So I, I, it's not like I was missing payments or anything. It was more so like having things for your records, your tax documents and stuff like that. Like obviously people have those type of things in their emails or they have a bunch of like, per everyone has like personal stuff in your emails that like you kind of keep records of, which I had and I would just filter out. I had like filters for them, but for the promotional emails, I did not. And so I let it get to a chaotic point of over 40,000. So I finally cleared that out. And then it motivated me on the wall over here. I had like some hooks for my bags and my jackets and stuff like that. And I just realized I never really liked the look of it. It always just felt too claustrophobic there. I didn't feel like that area could breathe properly. So I decided to just get rid of the hooks and continue like hanging things in my room. And I'm just gonna put more stuff in my room because my room has space to like hold these things. And it was just like a convenient way for like, as soon as I would get into the house, I could put it there and then I could go about doing the things I needed to do in the apartment. But now I'm kind of just like, you need to put it where it really needs to live, which is your closet your coats and your bags and all that stuff and your shoes and leave it there. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it there and let that be the place. So it feels so much nicer to have like this designated spot <laughs> um, taken away and it really just frees up the area and it looks cleaner in this area like i like the look of it so much better now that it is not as much chaos essentially so i would like to buy new clothes this summer so i'm currently saving up right now to buy clothes that is something that i'm also learning too instead of just buying clothes when you need it or want it save up money if you know that you need like a certain wardrobe say like a summer wardrobe or a fall winter wardrobe like save your money up so that you can be able to afford to buy those things instead of buying them at the last minute and that way like you're budgeting for the future and you're getting things that you really want because you dedicated such hard work to saving for these items so yeah i'm really excited about that and yesterday I went to Ikea. They didn't have a lot of the candles that I wanted in stock. And so I checked in Texas where I have family. And I was just like, I wonder if they have these candles in stock. And they do. So my family's going to be visiting me this month. And we're gonna do like a staycation 
in Colorado. And so I thought, if you buy these candles, I'll pay you for them, but just bring them with you because they gonna be road tripping it out <laughs> essentially um, to me. So they can just have it in the car and not have to worry about it weighing down their luggage because they're driving, they're not flying. But yeah, I'm really excited for the staycation that we have planned. We're staying in a really cute little Airbnb house. Um, yeah, I, I'll definitely like vlog. I will definitely vlog during that time because I'm still gonna be in Colorado. It's just a staycation to kind of work from a different area. I'll still be working um, quite a bit and I might take like a day or two off just to like really spend time with my family. But yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited and I'm really looking forward to it. And payday is almost here. <sighs> I'm so excited. But yeah, that's kind of what's going on with me. I did my makeup today. I would say it looks pretty good, pretty good. I didn't use like a ton of different products. So I really like the way that it kind of came out it looks really seamless and nice in terms of it matching not really it's a little a little bit warm and I think I'm just turning more cool or possibly my makeup just oxidized so Good morning, it is Friday. Um, allergies are in full swing. I am stuffy and, oh my gosh, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so today is going to be a quick gym session. I'm gonna just do abs and like 30 minutes of cardio and then I'm gonna get out of there. Change really quick get my breakfast ready because I have meetings nonstop from 8 to 11.30 and each meeting lasts about an hour long. My last meeting is like 30 minutes but it could go to being like 45 minutes so I just I have a lot of meetings this morning. <laughs> Um, it's not going to be like this all the time. Next week is, is not going to be like heavy meetings in the morning. It's just this week has just been crazy um, with some restructuring things, but it's all exciting. It's all very exciting. But yeah, I did a little bit of work last night, got a lot of stuff done, and now I'm going to head to the gym. And yeah, I will see you guys in there. I'm going to probably have my breakfast like a, a lot earlier because I can only really spend like 35 minutes in the gym and then I need to be ready for this day.
So today's kind of chaotic because I am about to join another meeting in literally like four minutes. So I have just had that macro bar, which I'm glad in hindsight that I bought yesterday. And I'm having a little bit of this carrot turmeric juice blend from Trader Joe's. That's what it looks like. Boom, boom. Nice and orange. I'm drinking it straight out of the bottle because I don't want to do dishes right now, even though I will most likely have to do it later, but I'm keeping today busy. I have, I have several meetings today, and then I have some errands to do because Mother's Day is this coming weekend, and yeah, I am trying to get some gifts for some people to celebrate them who are mothers, you know? So yeah, I am gonna be doing that during my lunch break today. So it's just kind of like nonstop until after my lunch break, which is really nice because the rest of the day looks pretty chill and I will be able to respond to some text messages friends have sent me because they just need my full attention. <laughs> um, in order for me to respond so yeah i need to jump into this meeting now so i went and treated myself because it's been a <laughs> crazy day but also i needed to get some gifts for some people for mother's day and because i was already there getting them their stuff i got myself a cookie from crumble this week's flavor or one of the flavors for this week is the lemon one which I love lemon flavored things. So that is what I'm eating. <laughs> I'm eating that cookie, all of it right now. And yeah, that is what I'm having. So food has not really um, been great, but I have another meeting. No, actually, I don't think I do. Wait, let me see. I'm pretty sure I don't. No, no more meetings. So. I am chilling. Not really though. I have projects that I'm still working on, so I need to get those logistics out and about. And yeah, I will check in with you guys later for what I eat next. Might grab Chick-fil-A because that sounds easy, but I have salad, so I'll probably make that instead. All right, I'll check in with you guys when I eat next. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, so the weigh-in for today is 225.5. So lost a little bit of weight from last week or, yeah, the beginning of the week because this is like the first time that I'm vlogging back, but I was 226.8 last Saturday. Then, you know, had my treats over the weekend and then started anew and, yeah quickly got back down to 226 within a day or two because like water weight and salt and stuff and then I'm at 225.5 today so yesterday I will say was not my best day that was not intentional I just had a lot of meetings and this past week was a little rough with work in the fact that I didn't have a lot of time to do things because of the amount of meetings that I had so it is what it is but Next week is going to be a new week, so we start again, we move. But yeah, I'm going to take you guys through my day in terms of the foods that I'm eating, just showing you those quick little snap, just showing you guys those quick little snippets of what I'm eating and drinking throughout the day. I have a one-on-one -on -one today, so I am, it's at a coffee shop, and yeah, I'll show you guys what I get there. I'm most likely going to make a quick breakfast um, I might just have oatmeal this morning just to keep it simple and easy um, also if you're wondering what these patches are they are the mighty patch I got them on Amazon and they're the invisible one you can get 39 <laughs> patches and this one I got it off Amazon and yeah it is anytime that you like have a blemish kind of coming through you just put it on here and I have two 
We have one here and then one here that's kind of coming through. And so I'm not gonna be wearing makeup today. Just gonna have these on um, today. So it's a, it's a makeup free day because why not? Also the weather is beautiful outside. I'm wearing this really thin um, shirt, linen shirt, I'll show you. So I'm wearing this like really thin um, oversized linen shirt and then I have some biker shorts that are ribbed underneath um, and just keeping like this unbuttoned, you know, just to keep myself nice and cool throughout the day because it is going to be really hot today. So I went to the coffee shop and I got myself a small chai. I mean, it felt like a medium, but I got myself a chai with oat milk. Did not show that because I honestly forgot. Oh my gosh. I'm on a different part of uh, town, so the views are just incredible. So I just got home and I went to H Mart. I got some kimbap. This is the one that I got. There was two more um, little pieces in here, but I had two in the car. I also got spicy tuna roll as well. So those are my two items there. I also got some fried chicken. I ate some in the car, as you can kind of see. And I think they're just not agreeing with me. Like I don't feel like they're settling in my stomach that well. So I'm gonna not eat the rest of that i'm actually gonna throw it away and then i also got some van leeuwen vegan oat milk brownie sugar chunk with cookie dough brownies and candied oat clusters also i forgot to show that i got coconut water with pineapple so i'm also going to be having this all right guys i am gonna sign off i finished my spicy tuna roll which was really good and i tried finishing this but i really wanted to have my ice cream which this is how much i've had so far um about half the pint i'm gonna put the rest in the freezer because i'm just i'm really full and i've also had a headache all day i think it's because i was dehydrated yesterday and then also it's spring like my allergies are just in full swing to be honest and yeah, so I think that's also affecting me because I've sneezed a lot today. I've also been stuck in a lot of traffic today. So I will check in with you guys next week. I hope you guys are having a good day or night wherever you are at. If you liked any part of this video, please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I am doing. Comment down below. Say hi. I say hi back. And don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!